Thoughts here. Here's the countdown. We're less than a week away. Six days, five hours, 29 minutes and counting from when the Chiefs take on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers defending their title in Super Bowl 55. Kickoff is coming up Sunday evening at 530. And though the pandemic, of course, means things will not look the same as they did last year, there's still plenty going on ahead of the big game. KB Science Ben Evans walks us through it all. During the Super Bowl week last year, there wasn't a whole lot of activity here at Arrowhead Stadium or the Truman Sports Complex. That's because the Chiefs had shifted most of their operations to Miami ahead of Super Bowl 54. But this year, during this Super Bowl week, most of the activity will be happening here in Kansas City as the Chiefs won't leave for Tampa until the day before Super Bowl 55. So the Chiefs will be practicing at their home facility all week. We'll be hearing from head coach Andy Reid quarterback Patrick Mahomes and several of the Chiefs players today as they talk about how they are handling all of the changes this week. Of course, things are a lot different for the fans as well. A lot of Chiefs kingdom that went to Miami last year won't be going to Tampa this year, but there are a lot of things happening in Kansas City this week, like new displays at Union Station, like the T-Rex out front with a buccaneer in its teeth and the alpha lit displays inside. Most of the town is painted red and gold, and there are countless photo ops all over the metro, including several Chiefs murals in every corner of the city. Also tonight is the opening night of the Super Bowl, a national celebration, and those festivities, they will be virtual this year as well, with a broadcast on the NFL Network beginning at 7 o'clock. At Arrowhead Stadium, Matt Evans, KBC 9 News. And as you likely remember the last time these two teams met in the regular season, the Chiefs have brought home a win. Also with the goal of doing that again, top of mind, well, the team is tightening down on health and safety restrictions. For Patrick Mahomes and his fiancee, Brittany Matthews, well, it is nothing new. Of course, they've been strict all season with the focus on keeping the expecting mom healthy. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's definitely been challenging. Uh, we have to kind of how we people are trying to quarantine more and more as the playoffs go on. We've been doing it the entire season. Uh, you just want to make sure that uh, obviously that I can play, but that, that the baby is healthy. They've got a good plan. They've done a lot of research on it. So um, we're just following along what the league has. And the changes leading up to the Super Bowl are affecting the players' experiences as well. And normally, teams will usually spend the week taking part in all kinds of fun events, talking with the media and meeting fans, along with practicing for days in the Super Bowl city. Well, all that's been called off this year because of the pandemic. Well, the Chiefs, though, aren't even flying down to Tampa until later in the week. We talked to wide receiver Tyreek Hill about the switch. He says he'll miss the fun run-up to Super Bowl Sunday, but in the end, he says it is all about the game. It kind of sucks that um, all of the fun, you know, gets taken out of, you know, the media, walking on stage and just, you know, meet, um, meeting different people. But, you know, at the end of the day, it's still football. You know, we're going to go down there, you know, and and just um, play ball. Well, KBC 9 News is your destination for chief coverage all week long. We're going to have more this week on First News and tonight and every night this week. Watch our extended coverage from 6.30 to 7 on KBC 9. We'll highlight the big events of the day and show you what it'll take for the Chiefs to run it back. So make sure you tune in.